In this video, we're going to look at factoring a difference of two squares. And when we do this, we're going to first look for the GCF in each example. In the first example, we just have a 1 and a 16, and we have different variables, so we don't have a GCF in that one. So we can take a look at the terms, the x squared term and the 16y squared term, and we can apply the formula for difference of squares. Basically, you are finding the square root of both of these terms, and then you're going to write that in the a plus b, a minus b format. Well, the square root of x squared is x, the square root of 16 is 4, and the square root of y squared is y. So our two terms, our two roots, are x and 4y. And you're going to write that in the form x plus 4y, x minus 4y. That is a final answer, and you can use FOIL to check that to make sure that you get the beginning expression after you complete the FOIL method. In the second example, let's look for a GCF first, and with 45 and 5, they both have a 5 in common, so we'll be able to take that 5 out. After you divide the 5 out, that will leave you with a 9x squared minus 1 inside which you will put inside parentheses. So you still have the 5, make sure you keep that with you. And now we're going to look at the 9x squared minus 1 for our difference of squares formula. Let's take the square roots of these terms. So the square root of 9 is 3, the square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 1 is 1. Now don't forget when you put all this together, you have broken out the 5 already, and you also need to do the difference of squares formula. So you've got your 5 out front, and then you've got 3x plus 1 and 3x minus 1. That is your final answer, and again, you can use FOIL to check. I'm going to give you two more examples that you can work with and practice with this difference of squares method. So go ahead and pause the video, and then you can come back and check your answers. All right, and here you are. The first expression breaks down into 5y plus 2x and 5y minus 2x, and the second expression breaks down into 2x plus 3 and x minus 3. Good luck as you continue to practice this skill.